Well, Admiral, I think I heard you mention at a, a conference re recently uh, working yourself out of a job in the Bureau. Is that possible? Yeah, it's a little, a little <laughs> tongue in cheek. Um, <laughs> I, some would like to see me work out of a job, but really what I mean by that is if we can get this information down to the deck plates, down to COs and Command Master Chiefs, where they're having a personal conversation with sailors, eyeball to eyeball, they're, in my view, a much better judge of the talent that's in our fleet than the Bureau is. And so if we, if we five, ten years from now, we have a system in place that allows that conversation to happen. Uh, you don't need a bunch of folks in Washington managing this. You don't need a lot of folks in, in Millington <coughs> managing it. Well, we've got phenomenal people working down in Millington. It's a hard job to be a detailer, a hard job to be a community manager. And it's hard because they don't have as much, as many tools available to them to manage the really good sailors they see out there on the officer's side and the enlisted side. And so we've got to get more information to them. Uh, it's got to be current, and then they, they have to have tools that they can have a conversation with the sailors today. So that's kind of the interim step. Get the information to Millington and the detailers, down to the COs and XOs and the Command Master Chiefs, and then I think in the end we'll have a much better personnel system.